And this morning, we're answering your questions about COVID-19. We are once again joined by Dr. Ben Springate. He's the Chief of Community and Population Medicine at LSU. Glad to see you sticking with us for another week, Dr. Ben. So let's start with these questions from viewers. If you think you had COVID-19 back in December or January, is there a way to test for that? First, we're pretty unlikely for someone in our community to have been exposed uh, or to have contracted COVID back in December or January, as it doesn't appear that the virus was circulating here at that time. Um, however, we do anticipate uh, soon that there will be the availability of antibody testing. And this is something that we're all looking forward to because that will allow us to tell whether or not someone has previously been exposed or infected. Awesome. Yeah. Talk a little bit more about that antibody um, testing because that is entering the conversation more and Governor Edwards has said it will be very helpful in us going back to a normal society. Well, antibodies are a measure of whether or not your body has a, produced an immune response to an infection previously. And so um, while we don't yet have this tool in our arsenal for this particular disease for COVID-19, um, it is useful and has been demonstrated to work with other diseases and other infections. So as that rolls out in the coming weeks and as we, that becomes commercially available and the hospitals and clinics have that, that will really help us not only know who's been infected, but also potentially who may have immunity um, to be able to fight off a future infection. We're hopeful there may be some immunity that comes with that. That too is a little bit unclear still. Sure, very important though in this battle. Our next question is saying I'm recovering from COVID-19, but I'm still coughing and my sense of taste and smell has not returned. Does this mean that I'm still infected? It's certainly possible that you're still infected um, if you're still having those symptoms. It really depends on the duration of your symptoms um, and the timing of when you were exposed. Some people are you know, essentially better and stop becoming a risk to others within about two weeks. But for some people, it can last a, a bit longer than that. So uh, I would encourage you continue to stay at home to the extent possible while you're showing those symptoms. All right, and another question is asking, after testing positive, most of my symptoms are gone. I feel good enough to go to work. Is it safe to go if I have been in isolation for more than 14 days? Uh, in most estima estimations from the professionals uh, who are providing testing, yes, that would mean that you would be probably okay to go back to work. However, some healthcare organizations are encouraging people to stay a little bit longer at home, and certainly some employers have their own policies. So I definitely encourage you to speak with your uh, manager or your uh, human resources department at your organization and see what their determination is, what their policy may be for return to work after infection with COVID. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Ben. He will be taking more of your questions regarding the coronavirus all morning long. So keep texting those in to 504-529-4444.